I've got a mystery box with some mystery beer inside that I cannot wait to open up. Cheers, y'all. How's it going? I have a very exciting unboxing today, one that I am particularly thrilled about. I have this mysterious blue box laid out in front of me from a company that I had not heard of in the past called Bruvana. And what Bruvana has done is put together a beer of the month club, but with a little bit of a twist. And the twist is what I'm really excited about. So I've had uh, several beer of the month subscriptions over time. People have gotten them for me as gifts. I've gotten a few myself and I really enjoy them. I like the uh, excitement of not knowing what beer you're gonna get, the mystery of what's coming each month. But what I really, really appreciated specifically about Bruvana's beer of the month club or their Brews Less Traveled Club is that what they've done is really focus on the experience of the mystery beer. So it's not just a random assortment of beers, but what they do is select an undiscovered or unknown beer or brewery city that they decide to feature each month. They send you the box with a selection of beers from that city. I believe it's six different beers with at least four different breweries represented, so a nice variety. But it's not just the beers. You get a little bit of an information and kind of a story about each brewery, each beer, etc. A limited edition piece of glassware included in the box as well and then a trinket or souvenir that you receive from each city so like I said it's not just the beers that you're getting but really creating the story and the history of what beer means to that city especially with really not being able to satiate my hunger for brewery tours and exploring new breweries over the last 18 months or so I am really excited about companies and industries that are trying to innovate and recreate that same sort of experience in a virtual setting. And that's what really excited me about this Brews Less Traveled Beer of the Month Club. And then one thing that I'm also very excited to try out is each week, they have a weekly live Zoom that you can jump into as well, where they will go into much more detail about each beer. They'll do a live tasting with some of their experts. And again, just talk in more depth about the breweries that these beers are coming from, the history, the story behind these beers. So very, very, excited to try this out. And just one quick disclosure before I jump into the box itself, Bruvana did reach out to me offering me this box for free for the purpose of reviewing and incorporating into a video. I'm not sending them any of these footage before I actually post the video. They in no way influence my opinion of the box, but just wanted to let you know they also sent me a link that will be included in the description below. So if anyone decides to purchase a Bruvana box or purchase one of these subscriptions, I will earn a commission off of that. So with the disclosure out of the way, Let's jump into this box because I am so excited to A, see what beers are inside, but I think I'm even more excited to see what city is featured inside. Now, there is a lot of tape on this and a lot of different sides, so bear with me as I very carefully try to do this. I think that's all of it. Sweet deal. So, see if I can flip this up to show you. You've got the nice little welcome message inside. Congratulations. You've taken the first step on your journey to Bruvana. Highlighting Lexington, Kentucky on the brew map that you've got here. A nice little touch. And although the box just fits six beers from four different breweries, it looks like they give you a nice list of 20 different breweries that you can visit if you were to visit Lexington, Kentucky in person. Uh, I'd be curious to see if this list grows depending on the city, if this is how many are in the area, or if that's just the top 20 that they chose. And then they have your virtual tasting schedule on the back as well. So I'm not going to peek at that because I don't want to know what the beers are yet. I want to read or I want to open them up and see what's inside. Looking inside the box, you can see you've got the packet of the souvenirs here, which I'll get into. It looks like this is the glassware and bubble wrap. And then the beers wrap tightly, tightly in these individual cardboard boxes as well. So let me just go ahead and leave this like that. And I'll just open these up one by one or maybe two by two. It looks like they're attached. I have never been to Lexington, Kentucky. I mentioned I was really excited to find out the city. I was hopeful it's a place that I've never been to before. Um, so I can pretty confidently say I will have never tried any of the beers that are inside. First one up, we've got Blue Stallion Brewing Company. Just a phase 
the P apostrophe, H-A-Z-E, just a phase. New England IPA with Citra, El Dorado, and Azaka hops. Azaka, really like the can art, very nice. Put this up here maybe so you can see them as I pull them out if they don't blend in too much to the complicated display behind me. Number two, we've got another one from Blue Stallion. So same brewing company, Blue Stallion Brewing Company. This is a Dunkel. Very, very excited to see a Dunkel. Another thing I was curious about was gonna be the variety of styles that you see in the beers. If they were all gonna be IPAs or all trendy beers or anything like that, happy to see a Dunkel. Don't see those featured enough. So very excited to see uh, some deviation from the standard hop heavy, IPA heavy rotations I've experienced in the past. I also appreciate that the brewery puts on the back of the can here, recommended glassware that you should drink out of. That is a nice touch. Save me, I'm a beverage trapped in here. Next up, we've got, I think it's Volt. Volt's Hefeweizen is the beer for, and I think the brewery is Pivot. Again, one I have never heard of. Again, really cool can art with like a futuristic car with solar panels on the top it looks like oh kentucky's solar powered brewery and cidery so that explains the imagery right there on the can label very nice touch and again a half of ice in another nice addition to the variety i'm happy that it's a spread of styles and not a bunch of all the same style of beer this next one is another pivot brewery beer this one is a hard cider with hops and coriander rapacious wit gotta love that can art we've got some some rbg action it looks like on there swole as hell upholding the justice of the world <laughs> great can art this one is Ethereal Brewing Tropical Goes. Again, another different style. We haven't had any of the same style. Very, very happy about the variety. That's what I like to see in these mystery boxes or in these Beer of the Month clubs is true variety, giving you a full spectrum of options. Very simplistic, but pretty cool label art on this one as well. Also interested in what a tropical goes is. I mean, I'm assuming it's the flavors that make it tropical, but excited to see what that tastes like. I'm hoping maybe it's some passion fruit, maybe some guava. One, two, three, four, five and I got seven beers this time. So that's one extra than I was expecting, which is why I was just counting to be sure. Both of these are from Fusion Brewing. There is no way in hell I'm gonna pronounce this correctly and probably make myself look like an idiot. I'm gonna call this a, a Quasar, a Quasar? Quasar IPA, so another IPA, the first repeat, but again, New England. This is just a standard IPA. Fusion Brewing, nothing about the, the flavors or anything. Another very simplistic but pretty cool label design we've got here. And then the last one from Fusion Brewing as well is Strange Days German Style Kolsch. Very similar can design, just a little bit of a different color spectrum. I also just appreciate, again, I mentioned Dunkel. Happy to see Dunkel since you don't get those a lot. I enjoy the, the feature of some more European style beers. Again, something I don't think that we get enough of, I think, a lot of times craft breweries in the U.S. rely too heavily on the trends, the IPAs, the sours, now the seltzers, etc. So happy to see some Kolsch's, some Hefeweizen, some Dunkel's, uh, and really excited to test those out and see how they taste. So that is the full spectrum of beer. Let me get out of the way here. Seven different beers to try. I will be posting another video when I actually sample these. I wanna sit in on some of the tastings as well to get the full experience. And of course, outside of just the beers that are involved, we have the unique piece of glassware. So the glass is from Bruvana. I'm also just a big fan of glassware. My wife and I are in the middle of packing to move into a new apartment and we have very quickly learned just how much glassware I have accumulated. And even after trying to cut down on what we have, we just keep adding more and more and more. And this is definitely going into the collection and will most likely be what I drink many of these beers out of. And then the souvenir from the city or souvenirs, it looks like there is a few things in here. If I can get the bag open, the Brewgrass Trail. Big fan of that sticker, adding that to the collection for sure. Um, and it looks like the Brewgrass Trail may have something to do with the map on here. Well, let me just go through everything's in here. So a lot of stuff is Brewgrass Trail themed. So we've got the sticker, we've got the Brewgrass Trail postcard here as well with the nice glass on it. And then the brewery passport, your passport to the 18 craft breweries in and around Lexington, Kentucky. 
get more inspiration. That's what the passport looks like there. And then on the inside, a little welcome message. And then information about a bunch of the breweries that are featured. So a lot of the same ones that are on the map, um, all of the ones that are featured here as well, uh, with just information about the brewery, some tasting notes, stuff about landmarks, food, et cetera, nearby. And then of course, a place where you can write in, I'm sure, any notes that you have, any beers you try to mark off stamps on the passport. Pretty cool little feature. In addition to that, a little keychain bottle opener shaped like the blue stallion with the bottle opener on the bottom there, of course. And last but not least, the largest item from the souvenir box, the nice little paper fan. Lexington Brews Less Traveled. This is the Bruvana feature item from the pack, the little fan that you got here to keep yourself cool. This is especially good since I have to turn the air conditioning off while I record these videos. Very appreciative of this fan. And now that I can review the back of this sheet, now that I've opened everything up, we've got a nice little message about the Brews Less Traveled Lexington feature, the virtual tasting schedule, get the most out of Brews Less Traveled, join Molly for virtual beer tastings and an ever-changing lineup of special guests during our live stream each Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, which is tonight, so I'll probably try to hop on that. You can visit the website to find links to the live stream, podcast, and previous week's stream in case you miss it. It. it looks like tonight is Justin Stewart is the guest can design artist for P Pivot Brewing Company and they will be drinking the Volta Hefeweizen from Pivot Brewing Company. So you can see the full list of all the different beers that are available when they will be tasted and then the bonus brew is the rapacious wit dry hopped cider from Pivot Brewing Company. This nice little RBG beer we've got. And that is what comes inside the Bruvana Brews Less Traveled beer box. So like I said, you get at least six beers. This one came with a bonus seventh beer. So at least six beers from four different breweries all from the same city and like I mentioned, just tons of information and tons of little trinkets and things like that to make it more of an experience of that particular city, not just a sampling of the beers themselves. So I am very excited to taste my way through these options and to try them all. I will definitely be catching the podcast versions of the ones that I missed or just re-watching those live streams as well. And as I mentioned, if you are interested in purchasing one of these boxes, I've included a link down below that will take you to their website. You can sample one of these brews less traveled boxes for $69. I believe that's all costs included, shipping, taxes, etc. cetera. Um, but the standard box is what I just opened, comes with everything that you saw here. There's also an option to upgrade for $20 extra. That just gives you a duplicate of every beer that's included in the box. So instead of one of each beer, you get two of every beer in case you want to share with a friend or a partner or spouse. So I am very excited to dive in and try all of these beers. I'm excited to dive in and watch some of the live tastings as well and see what that's all about. I'm also toying with the idea of doing one of my blind taste test videos of a handful of these beers uh, just to try them out blind, but I don't know. Part of me also wants to take the time to savor each of these beers, so stay tuned for that. We will wait to see where it goes, but really excited to just jump in and give all of these a try. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer them, and as I said, the link is down below if you'd like to order a box for yourself. But Thank you, as always, for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. If this is your first time on the channel, I hope you'll subscribe. I hope everyone will give this video a thumbs up to help others find it as well. And until next time, I'll see you around. Cheers.